Welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk. This is Thursday the 20th of August 2020. The creation of the world is the theme for this week. The call to prayer comes from the Psalms, Psalm 148. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, shining stars. Praise him, highest heavens. And all the waters above the sky, let them all Praise the name of the Lord. Let us pray together. Let us pray. The purple-headed mountain, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky. Amen. Ian and I are following the days of creation this week from Genesis chapter 1. We have moved on to the fourth day and the emphasis is on the two lights in the sky, the sun and the moon. I've chosen Genesis chapter 1, reading from verse 14 of the Good News translation today. Listen for God's word. Then God commanded, Let lights appear in the sky to separate day from night, and to show the time when days, years, and religious festivals begin. They will shine in the sky to give light to the earth. And it was done. So God made the two larger lights, the sun to rule over the day and the moon to rule over the night. He also made the stars. He placed the lights in the sky to shine on the earth, to rule over the day and to night and to separate light from darkness. And God was pleased with what he saw. Evening passed, and morning came. That was the fourth day. Thanks be to God for this reading from his word. The heart of day four is the sun and moon, which provide daylight and moonlight, obviously. Did you know, though, that the sun currently fuses about 600 million tonnes of hydrogen into helium every second. Every second. As a result, converting 4 million tonnes of matter into energy every single second. I don't know about you, but I can't, can't quite compute these large numbers. They tell us that the sun is a huge, vital ball at the centre of our solar system. It's over 4 billion years old and has another expected similar period of life to go. Every aspect of life on Earth, plant, humans, animals, all depend on the sun. At times it has been seen by humans as a deity in and of itself. It is very hot and consistent, offering heat and light to our whole solar system and beyond. Today, the hymn of praise, which is Genesis chapter 1. In that hymn of praise, we celebrate these two marvellous orbs. And I'm going to make one very straightforward point. We believe that our God is like the sun, which he created. The sun simply provides light and heat, whilst God creates and loves. Let us pray. Great and loving God, as we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we never do so alone, but in company with all your people. We give thanks today for the good creation for those who work to analyse both sun and moon so that we can better understand our small solar system in this large and expanding universe. We pray as a species that we can follow the sun in our consistency by learning to love the whole of creation throughout our lives. Living God, we pray for those who work for us as we travel through this global pandemic. Bless the scientists 
searching for solutions. Bless the shops trying to serve us. Bless the National Health Service trying to keep us healthy. Bless the governments seeking to chart a safe course. May they know the wisdom of the one who designed the sun and the moon so well. Hold in your healing presence those who are ill in body, mind or spirit. Draw close to anyone who has been damaged by an abusive relationship. Remind us that through your love we can overcome and over time grow again in strength. And now we pray with Jesus Christ and the whole church in heaven and on earth. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now let us close this short service with the blessing. May God bless us with gratitude for this marvellous creation. May God bless us with the Son's matchless spirit. And may God bless us with the love and joy and peace which comes from the Holy Spirit. In the name of God, Father, Son and Spirit, we ask it. Amen. <laughs>